Hey drummers, what's up? I'm Sean Lang. Thank you for purchasing this lesson. So this is lesson one on beginner broken double bass drum beats. So this is basically a double bass drum or double kick beats um, that are or that have patterns on the bass drum that are broken up. So rather than just solid right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left the entire time, this is going to have some stops and starts and it's going to add a little bit more groove and a little bit less uh, static feel to your beats. So these ones are, I, I, I think they're more on the ground floor. Um, just let me know how they work for you, but pretty much we're starting fairly simple. Um, the idea here is uh, to have your right foot as strong as your left foot and the other way around. You want your left foot to hit as hard as your right foot. Um, that's going to be really tough for a lot of people. A lot of people, their, their tendency is going to be to, like that's going to be their right and that's going to be their left. You don't want this sort of hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft feel. You want it. You want it powering through the whole time. That's what's really going to sound badass when you're playing in a band and playing on stage and, and all that fun stuff. So, what you really need to to watch for is that you're getting that consistency with with your pedal. Um, one of the things to do is while you're playing, is look down and make sure that your feet are uh, on the pedals the same way and that you're playing the same way. You might think that you are. But you might be surprised that sometimes your left foot is actually doing something kind of funky and something that you never really thought it would do. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, another thing is watch to see how far your beaters are coming back. Um, your right beater is generally going to come back farther because it's your dominant foot and your left beater might actually not come back as far. Partially because your foot's weaker, but also partially because maybe your double pedal is just uh, maybe needing a bit of a tune-up. It's really common for the left pedal to not have as much spring and maybe have a little bit of actual play and wear in the U-joint for the actual drive shaft. So that's something to watch out for. And uh, if you need to tune your pedal up, um, try it out yourself or take it to your local drum shop and see if the guy can help you out doing that. Um, and just play every note. Don't, don't, just, um, don't just let your feet sort of follow each other. Play every single note. Feel it intentionally. This is something that I tell all the students on drumming all the time. Is be intentional and feel every single note. If you're not, it's sort of a fluke and maybe it sounds good, but you want to actually make sure that every single note is there because you placed it there. And uh, if it's just sort of a fluke, you can't rely, <laughs> you can't rely on flukes. So um, play every single note and just make sure that it is uh, consistent and, and powerful. Now that's why we're going to start out with these exercises nice and slow. Uh, in the video here, I started the mode at 90 beats per minute, which actually might even be a little fast if you're really, really new to bass drum or to, to double kick. So, if you need to slow it down even more with your metronome, um, then do that and putting in the time and working on the consistency is going to do a whole lot more good than just digging right into, uh, into the blazing fast speed. The speed's not going to do you any good if it's, uh, if it's all out of control and it's not powerful. You need it to actually punch through. So um, with that being said, let's get to the exercises and I uh, hope you guys dig it.